the EFCC acting chairman, Ibrahim Algo, who spoke to Channel's television exclusively in London. I give you an idea of some of those things he said, so much he talked about. But some of the key areas that some of the politically exposed persons who he said his agency is investigating will give you some of the soundbite of some of those things he revealed to Channel's television. Let's go down to some of the issues we have for discussion tonight, everyone. The big question is the present government. Part of what they said they were going to do before 2015 is that they're going to revive the economy. Uh, they did say pro add projections. Uh, some of the uh, global economic uh, platforms are also given their projections about the growth and the dynamics of the Nigerian economy. But the Q1 uh, report on the Nigerian economy is out. So the economy has grown by 2.01% in the first quarter of 2019, but slightly low, slower than 2.38% recorded in the fourth quarter of 2018. The data from the National Bureau of Statistics released today shows that an aggregate GDP stood at 31.794 trillion Naira in nominal terms, driven mainly by information and communication technology, agriculture, transportation and storage, trade and construction. In real terms, the non oil sector contributed 90.86% to the nation's GDP at 2.47 percent why the oil sector contributed 9.14 percent to total real gdp at minus 2.47 percent in the first quarter of 2019 agriculture gdp grew 3.17 percent from 2.46 percent in the fourth quarter of 2018 manufacturing gdp was sluggish at 0.81 percent in the quarter under review versus 2.35 percent the previous quarter so, a big question is, a lot of people will criticize the Mawari government as losing grip, having uh, had a recession just at the very start of the administration. Now, the winding down and cabinet will be dissolved and, and another term uh, mandate will be given to the Mawari government. So, a big question is, after security comes the issues of the economy. Is the Buhari government doing well? Are they keeping up to the promises they gave to Nigerians at the campaign that they can handle the economy? They will get Nigerians get, uh, to get jobs. The PDP have said they will get Nigeria working again. They did not win the election, although they are challenging it. The APC said they can fix Nigeria. Those are some of the promises. So tonight, we dissect it from the two, the vice perspective, and look at what they are doing and what could be done better. Tonight, my panel from our Abuja studio, I have Dr. Kach Onanuju, a member of the PP and an economist. Side with him is uh, Mr. Shegun Oshinaga, is a chieftain of the APC and public affairs analyst. Thank you so much, gentlemen, for coming tonight. Uh, let me turn to you quickly. Uh, Dr. Onanuju, does it bring smiles to your face? Uh, for a moment, if you remove the toga of the PDP and you talk as a Nigerian, does it bring smiles to your face uh, considering the report of the NBS about the GDP growth in the first quarter of 2019? No, nobody's happy. The economy has continued to contrast. As you have said earlier, uh, the World Bank said the best we did last year was about 1.8% in the very last quarter of last year. And this year, the Bureau of Statistics has told us that it's about 2% flat. What you have here is, between the years of 2005 and 2015, the economy averaged about 6.2%. It got as good as 7.2% at its very best point. Now, under the APC, we have gone deep into a recession, that's the economy. It's not gotten well. It has tanked. And know what a recession is when you suffer three consecutive negative growths. We have since then not gotten out of that recession. We have grown 0.1.5%. That's the negative growth. 
We have now averaged about 2%, as we're saying. If it were 1.8% as the last quarter of last year, and now 2% now, instead of actually growing, we have now stabilized what I will call a perpetual depression over a four-year period. Our inability to bring back the economic growth back to where it was, or even close to half of what it was. We have not done that. Look at the economy. Look at the problem of insecurity. So none. And even look at the electoral system. It's now been undermined. The rule of law is undermined. So I really cannot see anything that brings joy to my face as a Nigerian, <laughs> as a parent, and of, of course, as somebody who wishes the best for his country. Dr. Anani, I put that at the Dr. captain. Dr. Ananiju, if I may remind you quickly about some of the things that you have said to me right here on this program. You did say that Nigeria was headed for a depression. I respected that because you, that is your area of specialization. That's what you have studied. But, but some of the contrary things to what you have said in the past and what is happening now, since Nigeria was uh, reported to have gotten out of recession, it might be sluggish. But there is a consistent growth, Dr. Ananuju, to the average Nigerian on the street who do not understand some of the mathematics behind the issues of economics, but could see that Nigeria is not in recession, Dr. Ananuju. Okay. We well, go. what you're seeing here, yes, why I tell you that, if... A, a recession is when I was doing 5%, 6%, and I fell down and I went to 0%. <laughs> Have I been able to bring myself back to that 5%? No. <laughs> I am still somewhere very, very low. What you're telling me is, yes, we've seen growth of 0.15%, 0.8%. No. If you've not been able to bring the economic performance back to where it used to be, or even something that people could play to, all along, we've been playing with figures. Because if actually there were improvements economically, there is no monetary expansion. All we've seen is borrowing, but we cannot see those borrowings go in to stimulate the economy. We are hearing fantastic stories about government movements, but I cannot say it. All right. And that's let why me, sorry if I may pause you for a moment. Uh, Dr. Anonuju, I see Mr. Oshinaga smiling. Perhaps he has uh, something that we do know that his party is working on. Uh, from the analysis Dr. Anonuju has made, and the promises your party has made to Nigeria that, well, we have it all covered, we can fix the Nigerian economy, but it does not look exactly so, Mr. Oshinaga. Well, Shil, uh, my friend is still in campaign mood. He's, uh, he's still, but the elections have been fought and won and lost, and he needs to get back to reality. Uh, we must not forget that by 2015, Nigeria was in depression. Comparable economies like Venezuela actually is gone to almost extinction. We all know what is happening in Venezuela today. Nigeria was exactly where Venezuela was at the same time. And we've come out from the brink. We are doing maybe not too fantastic, but we're not doing bad. Painting this gloomy picture and running down everything out of your hatred or dislike for the present government is not going to yield anything. We are all Nigerians. We're here to stay. Our families are here. The truth is that the Buhari government has done some things. It will take time for the results to show. The Buhari government is engaged in a, 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 a divest, uh, or, or, or at least uh, not allowing oil to be the sole income, uh, uh, the divestment into agriculture. And in the, in the last uh, four years, we have seen that agriculture as more than tripled, I think, and actually four times uh, in terms of exports. Uh, and uh, the, the, the investment this government is making in infrastructure will take time for the results to show. If the past governments had invested what President Buhari is investing in infrastructure, our economy will not be where it is. Nigerians will say that the, the, the opposition has criticized your party for wanting to blame the PDP every now and then about just about anything. 
And now that you are four years, first and foremost, they said you did not take quick action in fixing the economy. You waited on the economy, went into recession, and now it's getting a slow and that your party does not have the capacity. Do you think that Nigerians should believe your party going into a second term with the rate of the growth of the economy? Well, she, she, uh, the, the voters have already shown that they believe that uh, President Buhari and the APC government uh, can do a good job. That's why he was, he, he was voted back. Uh, now, the gloom and doom pictures the opposition tries to paint over everything is not going to do anybody any good. Uh, comparing our country uh, to the worst kinds uh, is not the best way to go. The elections are over. Let's join hands together. Let's build this country. We, we need to, I'm sure the president will assemble the best and the brightest and do much better than he even did the first time. And I believe that Nigerians have every right to look forward to the next four years uh, as a, an important uh, uh, time and period for our country and economy. Okay. For a moment, I did tell you about uh, uh, the exclusive interview right here on China's television with uh, the acting chairman of the EFCC. The EFCC says they are the hunt for Nigerian monies that have been stolen abroad and they are planning to bring them back into the country. They say that some politically exposed persons, they are investigating them, in fact, some of them are in office. Take a listen to a portion of the exclusive interview uh, that China's television in London had with Mr. Ibrahim Magu. You see, it's not for me to sit down and hear, begin to tell you the people are in this gate, you know. Of course, we are doing some couples of uh, checks and investigation here and there. We are investigating almost everybody, you know, but it has to reach some level for us to come out in the media and say, yes, we are investigating. So That's it, been public. It, which means it will, it will jeopardize the process of investigation. You understand what I mean? Yes, mm -hmm. but the Umo State investigation has been made public. You can read about that on the internet. Well, it may not be the fact. If I bring out the details in the investigation, you see a lot of difference what is on the, on, the, on, the, on the internet. What are the details? You know, it's not for me to do it. But I don't have the detail here. But an investigation is ongoing? Definitely. Okay, you'll go after anybody. A name that seems to be synonymous with EFCC at the moment is Bukola Saraki. What is it? EFCC versus Bukola Saraki. Some would say it's Ibrahim Magu versus Bukola Saraki. What exactly is it that you're uh, investigating him for? No, no, no. I, no. I wouldn't sit down and hear this close to you or what we are investigating for. But I am telling you that it's, it's not personal at all. It has been on for some time. And uh, that's why I'm here. We are trying to interact with our, our partners in JC, in London, and Switzerland, and, and everywhere to unfold the details of the financial crimes that have been committed and the money laundering. Okay, it does look like so much to chew. You need to stay here. The nation's news leader getting all the juicy that says of some of the stories for you, what ESCC says they have been doing. Much more about that interview in our subsequent bulletins and our programming and also on ChinasTV.com. Let's quickly get back to our conversation. Part of what we're discussing is what this government is doing and its capacity to do better. The criticism is coming from the opposition. My panel is there in our Abuja studio. Uh, let me come to you quickly, uh, Dr. Uh, your A lot of criticism coming to your party is that uh, your party should not even be talking about the economy not doing well because the attribution from this government is that your party ran the economy aground. You do not have the right to talk about a, an economy that is not working because your, your party badly dealt with the economy. Well, it's one thing for them to bandy about rhetorics. My friend here, you've heard him talk. It's all just about rhetorics. And uh, all I will tell Nigerians is, George, how were you four years ago? Are you better now than you were four years ago? No. Look at the note. There is war everywhere. Insecurity has overtaken everywhere. Look at it. 
this is a brand new Buhari economy, economy of those he allowed to take guns, using those guns to kidnap Nigerians and demand ransom. So, those, are, those, are strong, those are strong allegations. Uh, 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 Dr. Ananuju, Dr. Ananuju, I need to, I need to uh, t uh, make you know that when you say the, uh, the president took guns, those are far too weighty allegations that you are making on Nigeria's yeah. leader. Uh, I, and I'll plead that you, you take it easy, okay? Go ahead, please. Thank you very much. <laughs> what I'm trying to tell you is that under the PDP, Sheun, under the PDP, Sheun, we had the longest period of economic expansion in Nigeria's history. Under the PDP, we had the longest period of political stability in Nigeria's history. Under the PDP, we grew our economy to become the largest economy in Africa. We were home to the fastest growing middle class in Africa. Under APC, Buhari refused to allow anybody to come into government to advise him. It's like you buy, a, you get into a house, and for eight, six months, eight months, you don't employ any Dr. Uh, uh, Sorry, sorry if I'm about him quickly. Dr. Nanuji, just straight. And, and should it uh, quite straight in one sentence. Do you have uh, trust in this government to do any better in the next four years? Just a sentence. The truth, I will only judge the government by its reputation. You know, I tell people in politics, don't listen to what politicians do. Judge politicians by their actions. And if you look at the actions of this government in the past four years, then I can tell you it's going to be all rhetorics as you're having to hear right. now in the studio. Okay. There will be no action. Let me allow... Uh, okay. Uh, that's another Let me allow Mr. Oshinaga. We, 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 we need to close the program. And in 30 seconds, Mr. Oshinaga, if you can tell us, do you think Nigerians can trust the APC government? He had said it. We should judge what your government, the APC government, has done in the last four years. And based on that... Do you think Nigerians should have trust in your government? In the next uh, 30 seconds, please. Shewun, I believe that the Buhari second term will be revolutionary in terms, in almost every sphere. I, I believe that the, the, this next four years will be Nigeria's golden era. Uh, as all hands will be on deck to fix this country, I believe that the president who look across this nation from the north to the south, from the east to the west, look for the brightest uh, and smartest hands to fix this country. We will be, at the end of these four years, uh, be the food basket of Africa. At the end of these four years, All right. uh, we will have non-oil sector uh, doing several times more than the oil sector okay uh, so I, I, i've been doing we, we, we need to really leave it at that uh, uh mr <laughs> shinaga because we are out of time i must sincerely thank you uh it's a pleasure to see you again and dr catch and both of you are passionate thank nigerians you. speaking about what you believe in thank you so much for coming on the show tonight well that's thank our show for tonight everyone and thanks for watching i'm sure Kimale. bye-bye